Do you suffer from migraines? So many people do, and a lot of them don't know that surgery can actually help keep them away. Dr. Jim talks about that in our Healthline Today report. We're wrapping up our discussion on migraine headaches, and today we're talking about surgery for migraines. And Dr. Kayvon Kiabani from the University of Nevada School of Medicine is going to discuss that surgery. Dr. Kiabani graduated from McGill University uh, School of Medicine, also did his fellowship training there. Dr. Kiabani, what's a plastic and hand surgeon doing treating migraine headaches? An excellent question. Um, the plastic surgery part of the migraine headache is, a, is an interesting story. Um, what was going on was that some of the patients that uh, we were injecting Botox to for uh, relaxation of front lines and, and uh, relaxation of some of the other muscles would come back and tell us that uh, not only you know, the Botox is working for them but, but their headaches are better. And then f furthermore there were some uh, procedures that we do for uh, rejuvenation of the forehead for example. And some of these patients came back to us and said you know not only I look better but my headaches are completely gone. So for a while this just was being ignored and uh, what happens is that you know in our national meetings we started talking to each other as plastic surgeons do, you know, comparing our experiences and uh, when, when you see or hear the same thing from different centers that people are reporting different things there might be something there and this was finally studied in the beginning of year 2000-2001 uh, by a group in Cleveland and uh, it was found that lo and behold that that some of the surgery that we have been doing uh, releases some of the trigger points for migraine that you have uh, discussed in on your program previously and from then uh, a series of procedures uh, were developed and uh, which concentrate on completely removing trigger sites for migraine headaches. So the surgery actually what you do the um, makes it all go away. Can you describe that a little bit? Yes, it's, it's, a, it's very exciting. Um, what, what you discussed uh, previously uh, are some of the trigger areas for migraine headaches. What we know now uh, is that there are some of the nerves within the head and neck area that uh, might be compressed or under compression. If I could point to this skull that uh, we prepared for, for demonstration purposes. Some of the areas that patients complain of migraine, for example, are areas in the central forehead and migraine headaches that trigger from, from these areas and go and take over for the entire front of the skull. There is also the areas of the temple where patients have uh, problems with these nerves where, uh, who are under compression. And a, a very common area is migraines that come from the back of the neck and actually travel up and, and, and take over the patient's uh, posterior side of the, the head. And what's, what goes on with these nerves is that if, if, we, if I can show this by removing one of these nerves, is that these nerves, as they come out of where, where they're coming from, uh, you know, as, as we all know, all these nerves are connected to our brain somehow or other. But basically, these nerves have to travel through certain uh, tissues, muscles, fat, fascia, and, and different things. And as these nerves go through some of the musculature, uh, for all of us, uh, they perforate certain muscles and they're on their way to do, to, to do their job. For migraine headache patients, the thinking now is that these muscles on them are doing this to them. So really are compressing the nerve. And those are the areas of trigger point that uh, are around the head and neck areas. What Botox does is, um, the thought is that it will try to relax this muscle so the muscle is not compressing the nerve anymore. And as you discussed before, the Botox may last for three months and then the patient has to have another injection. It's been an amazing success, however, it's not permanent. In a way, our surgery, what we will do is a permanent Botox. There will be no need for that anymore. And in a nutshell, what we'll do is we'll remove this musculature and compression from around the nerve we put the nerve to the side, no matter what this muscle does from now on, you will never have a trigger wow. point. Wow. Dr. Kayabani, thanks so much for joining us to discuss plastic surgery or surgery for migraines. Thank you, Dr. Ansarinia. This has been Healthline Today. Thanks very much for joining us. For questions or comments, you may email me, email me at drjim at mynews3.com. Be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you next time on Healthline Today. Okay.